Hello, hello, hello. This is the air castle in the land of make-believe. And all the children everywhere can hear us because we have a magic wire which goes to the radio. We are glad to be in the air castle again today to meet Clickety Clack, Bugler Murphy, and Happy Duck, President Pip, Bopo, Yip, and uh, Mr. Uh, and all the rest of the air castle family. And while we're waiting for them to gather, let's all get together and sing the song about the farmer. We say this because we've heard that quite a number of the children have memorized the words to this song. And uh, it would be nice to think of ever so many children all singing the same song at the same time, even though they are not together in the same place. Are we ready to sing? If I were a farmer and lived on a farm, I'd have pink in my cheeks, strength in my arms, apples to eat, milk to drink. I'd live a happy life, don't you think? Chickens in the chicken coop, pigs in the pen, horses in the pasture, cows in the glen, turkeys in the clover, ducks in the pond, corn in the cornfield way beyond, kittens in the parlor, puppies in the yard, cookies to be eaten after playing hard, peaches in the orchard, Orange too, sunshine, sunshine, skies of blue. could whistle, and even some of the little girls, because President Pip doesn't believe in that funny little poem that used to say, whistling girls and crowing hens always come to some bad end. He told us that once, and uh, so that's why we say perhaps some of the little girls could whistle with us too. Well, Clickety Clack will be here pretty soon, and I wonder how all of the little dolls everywhere would like to join in a very happy dance for just them. When the little magic piano begins to play, we understand all the little dolls everywhere like to come hopping out of their cradles and buggies and little doll beds and out of boxes and from the lounge and, oh, out of, out of the, the closet and everywhere. And they just come out and dance round and round and round. So, shall we see if they will this time? We mean every kind of little doll. Little rag dolls. Little dolls who open their eyes and little dolls who don't. Little dolls with pretty curly hair. Little dolls with pretty straight hair. And little dolls with no hair at all. China dolls, celluloid dolls, and rubber dolls, and even little paper dolls may join us. The little paper dolls must be very careful not to bend their hands or feet, though, while they are dancing. And the little mothers must be careful not to bump their heads against the table or the door or the radio, or the chair. So now that we understand all of that, the little dolls must be ready by this time. One, two, three, one, two, three. Dancing, 
dancing round and round. We hope they enjoyed that. In our mind's eye, we could just see them dancing and enjoying themselves. Ever so many of them. I wish President Pippin, Clickety Clack, and Bugler Murphy would arrive. I wonder where they could be. Here comes Clickety Clack. Here he comes, up the winding stairway. Is that so, Bugle Murphy? Oh, don't tell me. President Pip is excited about something. What was that for, Bugle Murphy? Oh, bad. Oh, no. Man, cannot to get out. Oh, come, Story Man. What's the matter? Oh, come on. Let's run out. Story Man, come on, everybody. Uh, there's... there's... Uh, there's somebody in one of the rooms downstairs, and then he's a new, new door I found. I've been finding more new rooms and everything. Oh, President Pip, what's all this excitement? <laughs> oh, Mr. Oh, very bad afraid not to go. Oh, me go home. Ah, you live clear in the jungle. You can't. This is your home. This is your home, and you'll have to stay with us and make the most of it. Sorry, man, here's what the excitement is all about. I was on my way upstairs, and I passed the... Past another one of those doors along the corridor, and, uh, and somebody was knocking on the door for all he was worth. And he said, let me out, let me out of here, let me out of here, I say, let me out. Why, that's very strange, President Pip. Where do you suppose he could have come from? Well, I don't know where he could have come from, but there he is. We'd all better go down there and, and see what, we'll, what we're going to do about it. Clickety Clack is very brave about it. He's leading the way. <laughs> well, don't cry about it, Bugle Murphy. We'll see who it is and what he... What are you going to do? Let me. Where is the door, President Pip? Oh, I think it's this door right here. Let me out, I think. Let me out, let me out, let me out, let me out. I'm tired of being in here. Let me out. Mm, did you ever hear anything like that? Who are you and why? Well, who are you first? Are you a friend of ours? I don't know who you are. Well, it's time for you to know them. I'm President Aloysius Crumpleton Washington Lincoln McCup, President of the Land of Make Believe. And I'm in charge of this there castle. And that's the first I ever heard, uh, heard of you. Get me out of here. I can't wait another minute. Let me out of here. Maybe we'd better let him out, President Pip. Well, will you be nice if we let you out? I will be nice if you let me out. Now let me out, please. All right, let's let him out. We'll turn the key in the Ah, there I am. Ah, well, now I'll have to be on my way. <laughs> Who was he? Where, where's he going? Strange-looking man. Looks like a pirate, and he's going right down the... He's on his way down the wi winding stairway. Come on, let's follow him and see where he's going. Goodness me. Going right down towards the land of, land of every day, I think. No, President Pippi's going the other way. He's going out towards the ocean in the land of make-believe. <laughs> Goodness me. Even the... Even that little dog out there was frightened. He was barking and barking and barking. Yes, President Pepper, I heard him. There he goes out across the there. He's going out over to the he's going over to the ocean. Let's follow him. Come on. Click it clack. Get the little wooden horses. Maybe we can get get along faster. There's Hero, the little wooden horse. Come on out, Hero. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, Hero. All right, clickety clack, get on him. That's the way. Bugle Murphy, you get on too. Now we can go faster. They have to get on a little wooden horse to go as fast as we can. As we can run. Come on, get up. That's why. Come on, sorry man. Come on. Come on. Where's Mister Ron? Oh no, Mister. Uh, no go, man. Too bad not to go. Oh, he's afraid to go. All right, get up. 
That's the way. That's the way. Come on, Bugle Murphy. Oh, oh we're just about to catch him up with him. Oh, see, he's going over there. What's that boat out there? Lying at anchor out there. That's it. Keep going, clickety clack. That's the nice little wooden horse you rode. I wonder who he could be. Well, I told you, he looked like a pirate. He had a, he had a bandana around his forehead. Uh, and he had, he had a um, kind of a black patch over one eye. My, but he was a rough and ready sort of a man. See, there he is. There's some others there. Oh, there's a whole crowd of them, story man. See? He's going over to where the rest of them are. Goodness me. I can almost hear them. See? Oh, man. What do you think of that? Goodness me. I wish some of them would look around. Well, sorry, man. Oh, whoa, wait a minute. See, there they are over there. Do you think we'd better go any closer? I wish I could attract their attention. Then there's me. Oh, I hope we don't attract their attention. See, they're all gathered together. They're going to get in that boat? Story man, what is that they have there? Why, it looks like that little music box we found when we were in this other beautiful room. Maybe that's what he was doing. And by mistake, he locked himself in that room. Oh, we'll have to get our music box back. That belongs. That belongs to the air castle. Goodness me, story man. Come on, bring it back. Oh, they're getting a little boat and they're going out to the big one. Here you, here you. You wait here now. Wait here, wait here. What are you doing? You're taking our music box away. That's wrong. You shouldn't do that. Come on, back to the air castle. Come on, back to the air Oh, goodness me, story man. What do we do? I know what I'll do. I know what I'll do. I'll have my pocket radio set. I'll send a telegram, a radio message to Captain Jinx on his good ship, Spirit of Adventure, or whatever he decided to call it. Uh, anyway, wait a minute. <laughs> oh, sign President Pip. All right. Now, you pirates, just get on your boat and away you go. You'll just be surprised. Captain Jinx will probably round you up and we'll get our music box back. Let's hurry back to the air castle, story man. And we'll get in the aeroplane and we'll fly out there and see what they do. That's a very good idea. Come on, Sigurdy Clack. We're going back to the air castle. Get up. Come on, that's the way. Sigurdy Clack and Bugler Murphy are leading the way back to the air castle and President Pip and I are trying to keep up with him. <laughs> yes, and I'm nearly out of breath, too. Goodness me. Can you imagine those pirates taking our beautiful new music box that we just discovered? There goes Sigurdy Clack. They're going over the drawbridge now. There they are, back in the courtyard. They're getting off the horse. Now we'll go back upstairs and we'll plan a little campaign. And the next time the children listen, they will hear if we get our music box back again or not. Those pirates went and took the music box. Maybe they love music, but why didn't they go and have to take ours? Why, why didn't they come? If they would have come to me and said, President Pip, we're bold bad pirates and we think music would, would soothe us and make us better, I would say, well, all right, you can just have the music box. Yes, if the children will listen tomorrow, they will hear more about this. Goodbye, children. Be good, and you'll be happy.